Hi there, this is Ranjit from TechToBuzz.com and in this video I'm going to talk about what software do I use on my Windows 8 computer. And if you recall, uh, I made a video uh, on around middle of February 2013 that I was migrating from a Mac to a Windows 8 PC and I told you guys that I'll be making a video about it after a month but due to my busy schedule I couldn't do that and I'm happy to say that I've completely migrated to Windows uh, uh, base machine and during the last three months I did not even switch on and go back to the Mac even once. So let me talk about some of the softwares that I use and as I had said you can check out this video for more info why I uh, migrated to Windows and the ma main important software that was having a problem with me for moving the Windows was the video editing software and uh, actually I did a lot of tinkering around with the various Windows based video editing software and I finally decided on and I'm actually using this one uh, for the last 4-5 months and the last 150 videos or so that I've made on my YouTube channel were edited using this software and the name of the software is the Mo uh, Sony Movie Studio Platinum and this software just cost around uh, $99 or so uh, quite a few of you have asked me about uh, expensive uh, video editing software but my criteria was that it had to fit in $200 budget uh, that's why I selected this one this software is actually uh, what do you uh, say it's a stripped down version of the Sony Sony Vegas video editing software. It has most of the features but some of the fancy features are simply not there. But the price suited me and I tested it and it works for me. Uh, alternative software for this that I was going to buy was uh, the Camtasia Studio but it was around $275 or so. So for my video editing needs uh, I'm settled with this movie studios uh, platinum and it works great for me and I'm happy to say that this software is so good that it's actually saving around 30 to 40 percent of my time uh, in editing each video compared to the final uh, uh, final cut pro that I was using on the Mac so I'm really happy with this software moving to the second thing was email client I actually had an old license of uh, Windows Office two, uh, 2003 and I did install that and Outlook was also there but after using Outlook for about 4 or 5 days it crashed on me once I thought it's an anomaly okay fine but again after 2-3 days it was a little bit slow and crashed on me so I simply gave up on uh, Outlook and I was kind of disappointed uh, but I uh, stumbled upon this Mozilla Thunderbird and I'm happy to say that from that time now it's almost about 4 months I'm using this Mozilla Thunderbird as my email client. I'm very happy with that. It's rock stable. It hasn't crashed on me and I get tons of email and I'm really impressed with this email client. It's again free. So have a look at uh, Mozilla Thunderbird if you're looking for a free excellent email client that works on Windows. Next coming to the antivirus. Uh, Windows 8 has built-in antivirus so actually I did not install any uh, third-party antivirus as of now. I'm just using this malware bytes and I run that scan every 15 or 20 days. Again as uh, some of you might know I actually do not download a lot of software so I feel I'm relatively safe in this area. Next coming to Twitter client I'm using this Metro Twit. Uh, that's great uh, again you can check out that it's for free again I'll link all these uh, software in the show notes YouTube show notes so that you can uh, access them. Uh, coming to the audio department, I'm using Audacity, which is again a free software. This works both on the Mac and even uh, Windows. So that was great. Uh, for converting videos into various formats, sometimes we have to do it. Uh, I'm using this free video converter from Koeta software and that works great for my needs. Uh, for screen capture, I'm using Hypercam 2. Again, this is free and it works great for my needs. Uh, for simple image editing, I use paint.net. It's a simple software and this is also free. So these are some of the softwares that I'm using and I'm actually pretty happy with my setup. Again, it's the software list is not much, but it helps me uh, to get my work done. Uh, and uh, again, um, regarding Windows 8, uh, during the last 4-5 months, I would say that I didn't even use the modern UI apps even 1% of the time. I simply boot into Windows and just go to the desktop. So those uh, Metro apps are ir irrelevant to me. And I would say Windows 8 did not impress me that much. If uh, actually I have the license of Windows 8, that's why I'm on Windows 8. Uh, I don't want to buy a new license of Windows 7. But personally, uh, I would have preferred Windows 7 because Windows 8 is the same wine 
in a twisted new bottle. So Windows, uh, I use Windows 8 mostly in the desktop and I'm pretty happy with that. So again, do let me know if you're using some uh, other productive softwares from Windows uh, that you like, that might be helpful for others. Do share them in the YouTube comments. Uh, so I hope uh, you found this video helpful. That's it for now. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.